Hi, I'm Benjamin Bell of This Week with George Stephanopoulos, and I'm joined today by Stephanie Cutter. Welcome, Stephanie. How are you? Good. Stephanie was the 2012 Obama Deputy Campaign Manager. Correct. That's right. Quite a title, quite a title. And because we believe all politics is social here at This Week, we're going to be putting some of your questions from Facebook to Stephanie. The first one comes from Rahel Alemi, and she says, did you ever say no to the president, so during the campaign? Well, um, certainly, you know, if there was a time that I felt strongly about something, the president would listen to that, and we normally would come to an agreeable solution. But, you know, I think that this campaign was remarkable in that we, we knew what our task was. Uh, from a year out, two years out, we had a strategy, and we stuck to it. Um, from the beginning to the end, and right. it proved to be successful. Um, we had minor uh, deviations from it along the way, but for the most part, we stuck to the strategy, and it worked. Great. And so the next question is from Barbara Bettis, and she says, how did it feel to be one of the few senior women involved in the campaign? First of all, do you agree with that premise, and how? what do you think? Well, we were actually pretty lucky in that we had a lot of senior women on the campaign. Uh, I was a deputy campaign manager, and there were two other deputy campaign managers that were both women, Juliana Smoot right. uh, and Jennifer O'Malley Dillon, and we basically split the campaign into thirds. Uh, so we were, we were lucky in that way. There was plenty of diversity at the top of the campaign and all the way down. Um, and as, you know, when you're in the, um, the thick of it and you're looking around the table, you're not counting how many men or how many women uh, are sitting around. That's your team. And right. we had been together for many, many years. Uh, so it was a, a close-knit team. It worked well together. Okay. And the next one is sort of controversial, um, and it comes from Daniel Gus, who says, does she regret saying that Romney was slash maybe a felon? Now, to be fair, you said that that was a possibility. Um, <laughs> now, what I said was uh, there were a series of documents that came out that came to light in a news report that showed that Romney had signed SEC documents uh, alleging that he was in charge of Bain Capital from 1999 to 2001 when he alleged he wasn't in charge of Bain Capital uh, and that he was off running the Olympics. But he was signing these documents as the chairman, president, um, CEO, and sole owner of Bain Capital to the federal government. So only one of two things could be true. Either he's not telling the truth to the SEC or he's not telling the truth to the American people. If he's not telling the truth to the FEC, then that could be a felony. That's exactly what I said. Now, of course, we know what the truth is. The truth is he didn't want the American people to know that he was in charge of Bain Capital at that time because there were a series of deals that went down uh, that led to outsourcing of American jobs overseas, that led to bankruptcies, Americans losing their jobs here at home, uh, but Bain walking away with a pretty hefty profit. That was the story that he was trying to separate himself from. So at the end of the day, what we were, we, we were arguing, uh, which I think the American people agreed with, was that you know, if you're the CEO, chairman, president of a company, it, it's very difficult to say that you're not in charge. I don't regret saying it. It's the truth. And the last question from Facebook comes from Dan Marino, not the former quarterback. And he asks, he says, will she ever run for office herself? There is an open Senate seat in her home state of Massachusetts. <laughs> Uh, and there is a great candidate running for that seat, Ed Markey, who's been the dean of the Massachusetts delegation for a very long time. I think he'd make a wonderful senator. I don't think that running for office is in my future. Right. <laughs> um, I've enjoyed working on campaigns, helping other people get elected uh, for offices. I've had, been very lucky to work for some incredible people, from Bill Clinton to uh, John Kerry to uh, Ted Kennedy, who was a great mentor of mine to President Obama. So I've been very lucky to see these great leaders in action and help them get to their elected offices. I don't think that running for office is for me, though. Gotcha. And uh, now it's time for our, our, our lightning round. Um, so are, do you use an iPhone or a Blackberry? iPhone. OK, iPhone. What is your favorite film? Well, we're in Oscar season, so I'm going to talk about my favorite film this year. My favorite is actually Silver, Silver Linings Playbook. Okay. Um, that it's so real and identifiable to uh, everybody uh, in life uh, that whether it's a bad breakup or moving home to live with your parents, I just thought it was a great film the way it used humor to get at these issues. And what is your comfort food? <laughs> what isn't? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I guess cheese. 
Jeez, okay, cool. Any specific type or? You, anything. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Well, Stephanie, thank you for joining us today. And um, thank you to everyone who submitted questions on Facebook. You can follow the show on Twitter at ThisWeekABC and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash ThisWeekABC.